Hey, this will be a video chart on GRDO, Guard Dog Incorporated. Uh, followed this one quite a bit. It's been a while though. I think over a month since last time a uh, video chart's been done on it. So I want to get it updated. Um, kind of a little pattern here that I want to get pointed out. Um, and the price has started to you know, show some signs of life. Still work to be done as, as it's still not above the resistance as you'll see. Um, but very clearly the past few days uh, you know, the price has been creeping up some. So uh, the first thing that we'll need to look for besides obviously is the price uh, continuation going up but uh, we'll want to see some volume start to come in uh, you know something like this or you know any sort of these bigger days would uh, be beneficial um, as you can see volume has really dropped off quite a bit the past month and a half uh, so hopefully uh, we can get some sort of jump start with one of these sorts of days uh, that we had during you know um, September or October or even the earlier parts of November but anyways, let's uh, map out this um, pattern. It's kind of hard to see in a way just because we had a, a false breakout of it. Uh, but first, we'll just map out the bottom part. Um, the bottom part is just simply this uptrend line here. You can very clearly see that um, over the course of time, with each pullback, there have been um, higher lows. Sure, they're not you know significantly higher, but nonetheless, they give us the ability to draw this uptrend line. So that's you know how we're uh, you know, able to do this just simply by matching up uh, these lows. This is going to be our uh, support trend line, and this will be the lower portion of our pattern. And I should note that this is a pattern, you know, that's taken place over the past about month and a half. So depending on your uh, strategy, you know, maybe you consider this a short-term pattern, maybe you consider this a medium-term, you know, I'm not sure. But uh, keep in mind that, you know, this is what the overall chart looks like. But I'm just going to be focused right now on the past about month and a half. So this was our support tread line, as I said, and our resistance tread line is right up here at 0.012. And what I'm going to do is make this actually thicker because this is just such a you know kind of pain in the neck resistance. As you can see, if we go back and look over the course of the past month and a half, you know we had an open here we had a high a high a high a bunch of highs right here and then at this location this was our uh, false breakout or head fake whatever you want to call um, but it, it popped up and then you can see when this area should have held as support it did not um, on this day right here the candle fell back below and closed below showing that this had turned once again back into a resistance and then once again you know the price is just multiple times try to get above it but can't so if we rule out this area and just kind of erase that from our minds like that, you can very clearly, very clearly see that we have what would be called an ascending um, triangle, which is a bullish pattern, and it's bullish um, mainly because we have, or it is occurring in an atmosphere where both the 50 and 200 day simple moving averages are increasing. Um, now, if if this was were occurring in kind of a, a, a chart where we had the 200 day down or um, sloping downwards and the 50 day you know that would be in a bearish context so it would it wouldn't be a, a, a bullish context um, within that um, setup but here it's it's occurring with these increasing moving averages so this is a bullish pattern and what we obviously want to see is a break of this very stubborn 0.012 level but not only a break as we can take back from this example here but let's say we do get a break. The first thing we're going to want to look at is volume. If you look at this break and correspond that down, there is no volume on that break. So there really wasn't any sort of um, confidence <coughs> excuse me, that could be put into that break right there. So with another break over here, the first thing you want to glance down and see volume. You know, Does it need to be something like that? No, but would it be better if it was something like this or a day like that? Yeah, that would be much better because it would show that there was quite a bit um, behind it and um, you know just a good feeling about the break so uh, you definitely want to make sure that you have some sort of volume on the break and with the close above obviously on any sort of pullback you don't want to see this happen here you want to see any pullback come down and find this as support before heading back up that is what you want to see from a, a break standpoint um, so first thing get some nice volume and second on any sort of pullback you need to see 0.012 um, hold as support like it should because remember resistances turn into supports when they're broken and a true breakout 
is always going to be able to hold its its uh, former uh, resistance level because it will be a true support. So keep that in mind. So overall, um, you know, things are shaping up nicely here. Hopefully, uh, maybe even this week, uh, you know, the company will do something that can bring in the volume and help push through this 0.012 level. Um, but only time will tell. But we are in a nice little bullish pattern here, so we'll have to see what uh, what's in store for the chart. If there are any other questions on it, please shoot me a message. I'd also encourage you to check out bullwarriorstocks.com. If you go there and sign up for the free newsletter, you will be sent a free ebook, which has been getting good reviews. And with your subscription, you'll get chart setups, trade ideas, educational pieces, all sorts of things from big board stocks down to pennies. So a good variety, something for everybody. And best part is it's all free. So it's definitely worth at least checking out. One more time, this was GRDO. Thanks for listening.